Good morning. Welcome to my online home, consecratetheday.com. My name is Marianne Mathis, and I'm so happy that you are joining Soul Spa and my series that is beginning called Joy in the Journey. And this series is going to be just really fun, beginning with this first free offering called Cultivating the Fertile Soil of You. And during this Joy in the Journey series, we're going to just explore different aspects of what is it in our life that brings us joy? What brings life meaning? And so we're going to begin by composting and cultivating and nurturing the soil of who you are, of your soul. And we're going to do that with a painting. And you see it behind me, the, the small lady kind of lounging. And she ended up being really fun and whimsical and almost has a sense of a, a dreamlike state, very vibrant, impressionistic colors. And uh, I had a lot of fun creating the videos for this series. So I hope it will be a blessing to you. And I would like you to know this first free series is called Cultivating the Fertile Soil of You. And I have been very intentional in having this particular beginning series be just that. It is a series for folks who have not painted before. It is meant to be easy and fun. And in doing that, I hope that we can just kind of silence that inner critic and um, let go of that and just approach this painting process in a very playful, reverent, innocent phase so that as you paint, you will activate that creativity that every person has within their soul and allow your wisdom to come through. I have provided on this page a list of supplies and I want to talk a little bit about that. I just I would really like for you just to um, keep the supplies simple for this and if you have paint brushes use what you have. Um, the canvas should be a one to two ratio so that the vertical ends that you see are half the size of the long and that will just allow her to recline and um, so use whatever brushes. A lot of times I will use paper plates for my um, palette and so you don't need to go out and buy a palette. You will probably need to buy some paints and so I have given you the names of all the paints that I use to create this painting. You can certainly also add to that, um, you know, so that you um, make it your own because while I'm painting it, um, I also want you to be aware that yours may look different than mine. You may want different colors. You may not want the yellow weeping willow on one side um, kind of shading her. And so um, just feel free to add whatever colors and have fun with it. And I look forward to painting with you in this series. Take care. Bye.